Now second ray diagram for convex lens, the object is beyond 2F or beyond C that is center of curvature. Okay. Now here the first ray that we are drawing, the first line that we are drawing is obviously the principal axis. Okay. And then I am going to mark here the line that is perpendicular okay three lines above and three lines below the principal axis okay the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to draw the lens okay these curves will be drawn by keeping the protractor with 90 degrees line aligning the principal axis okay so in this way we are going to draw two curves which is going to mark the lens okay Now next thing is 3 centimeters each on the either side we are going to mark two points which are going to be the focus and 6 centimeters on either side of the optical center okay this point is the center of the lens that's the optical center I'm going to mark the center of curvatures or 2f okay now here the object is beyond 2f okay so first I'm going to mark the object you can see it is beyond 2f so this is our object all right the first ray that I'm marking I'm drawing is the ray that is parallel to the principal axis so this is the gray colored ray that I have drawn that is parallel to the principal axis because it is parallel to the principal axis after refraction that is after passing through the lens it has to pass through the focus okay this ray we are making it pass through the optical center and this is going to travel straight without causing any deviation okay now just look at these rays which we have drawn the gray colored ray that is parallel to the principal axis after refraction that is passing through the lens it passes through the focus the second ray that we have drawn is the yellow colored ray okay this is made to pass through the optical center and this goes straight without any deviation now you can see where both of these rays the yellow colored ray and the gray colored ray they are meeting okay so this is the point at which these rays are meeting so this is going to be our position of our image okay so this will be our image that we are going to show okay this is the object I'll mark this as AB this is your image I'm going to mark this as A dash B dash okay now the characteristics of the image the first thing is nature the nature is real and inverted the next thing is its size you can see here the object is of two lines and here the image is smaller than that okay so the image is diminished and the position of the image it is between focus and center of curvature or between F and C okay or between f and 2f on the right side of the lens okay or on the opposite side as that of the object okay so these are the characteristics of the image